What's up guys? Welcome to Musty Yeti's Tactical HQ. Today is going to be part 3 in the quest to build a 3 pound AR. I'll go ahead and annotate the previous two videos in the bottom down here. Uh, feel free to click on them and check them out. Uh, we first covered the minimalist stock and then the Spikes Tactical Lightweight Bulk Carrier Group. But what we're looking at here is an all polymer lore from New Frontier. Now you guys might be asking what exactly do I mean by all polymer? The buffer components, bolt catch, action springs, and pistol grip screw are all metal. Everything else is polymer, and I mean everything else. I'm talking about the trigger, the safety, the takedown pins, mag catch, and even the hammer is polymer. All that adds up to some serious weight saving, which is something we need after that disappointing Spikes Tactical lightweight bolt carrier group. Obviously the body of the lower receiver is made of polymer. Uh, new Frontier supposedly uses a new polymer formula and different reinforcing fibers in this lower. Now let's just talk weight here. Obviously that's one of the most important reasons why we bought this thing. As a way of comparison, I'm going to bring in my bushy lower. While this isn't your factory setup, I believe it's a fair comparison to what most people run on their ARs. Let me just go ahead and set this here just so we can see it in camera. So, the aftermarket parts on this thing uh, are obviously the Magpul furniture. That includes the ASAP mount, the battery assist device, and we also have uh, the BAD ambidextrous safety selector. The reason I chose this instead of my Seekins lower is this one has the ASAP mount. Uh, one really cool feature of this lower from New Frontier is they include Tapco's in-plate sling mount. Well, I haven't used this. Just by looking at it, I think it'll work a lot better than Magpul's ASAP mount, where you have that ring to deal with that moves around and makes noise. Uh, the catch-22 to having the Tapco in-plate is it adds some weight, which is counterproductive. Um, I doubt it's very much, but we'll be removing this for a standard in-plate to cut down an ounce or so. So let's just go ahead and get these things weighed. Put this off the side. Get the trusty scale out here. Oh. Pounds and ounces. Alright, let's see here. So we're looking at 2 pounds, 7.25 ounces for the standard Bushmaster lower with all your standard furniture. Now for the new Frontier Polymer lower. Uh, drum roll please guys, let's hope this thing weighs what they say it weighs on their website. So let's set this down, hope it doesn't fall. So we're looking at 1 pound, 11.8 ounces for that. I believe I looked at their website earlier today. And I thought they said it weighed 1 pound 7 ounces, so I'm not sure if that's correct. But either way, we're in at 1 pound 11.8 ounces. Get this back in here. Alright guys, so it's great to see we actually had a decent weight saving there. Um, I can tell you guys just from really looking at this thing over uh, beforehand that all the weight, and I mean all the weight, is in the back buffer tube. Uh, this thing weighs nothing. But we can even do one better. We can lighten this thing up even more. Like I mentioned before, we will be replacing that in plate with a standard uh, in plate. We're going to be installing the MOEK grip on here. It's a much slimmer, lighter grip that also has a much steeper grip angle. I believe the MOEK is three or four ounces lighter than what's on here now. Not to mention, we will be installing the minimalist stock, which is an ounce and a half lighter than the stock that's on here already. Uh, once we make all those modifications, we will be saving near a pound between this and the standard bushy lower, which is great to see. Now for the fit and finish, which really isn't a big deal as long as it functions. However, I'm really not impressed with the appearance of this thing. It has several spots on here where there's molding flash when the seam lines meet. Not to mention the seam lines are blatantly visible. There's going to be no mistaking this thing for a more expensive lower. While this is purely cosmetic, it will have a function issue if those burrs are on your trigger. I'm guessing every one of these lowers are slightly different, so some might have those burrs and some might on the trigger. That's just a guess on my part. Just keep in mind guys that these are things you can easily fix yourself. Now there's a lot of people online complaining how tolerances are too tight on this lower, but you'll have to do some work in order to get your lower parts kit installed on this thing. In order to do so, you might have to remove some material from your lower to get those parts to fit. While that might be the case, we won't have that issue with ours because New Frontier installed everything for us already. Uh, the trigger on this thing is supposed to be pretty decent at around 4.5 pound trigger pull. A really cool feature is this lower comes with a lifetime warranty from the manufacturer. So as long as you don't break it doing something you're not supposed to, you should be covered. 
Well, guys, that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment box below. As usual, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.